What's up guys? So, I've got a big pickup right now. Um, well first, I'll show you this real quick. I just stopped at the pawn shop and got, you can see that. There you go, Valkyrie profile for the PSP for five bucks. And I got this giant box full of games. Um, the best one of the Xbox is that you can see Conquer. I don't know if you guys can see it. Mm, the sunlight's killing everything. You get the point. Conquer. Um, it was kind of like a garage sale because he posted it in the. Um, he posted it in like the yard sales on Facebook. So. Um, Kind of like a garage sale find, I guess. Um, but I got that whole giant box. It's full of PS2 games, Xbox games, two N64 games, uh, PS2 Slim, and an Xbox original for 40 bucks. So pretty good. Um, I'm probably gonna go out for a little bit tomorrow. Uh, I haven't really noticed anything big going on, like sale-wise. So. We'll see. Probably find something little. Um, but yeah, I will uh, see you guys either tomorrow or Saturday for sure. So yeah, see you guys then. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> so uh, all done, I guess, uh, with the garage sales. Um, this this pickup, it, it, was, it was posted in uh, like garage sales for my area on Facebook. Um, but it, I mean, it kind of wasn't really a garage sale. It was, he was just selling this. Um, I did go out on Saturday, but I only went out for like maybe an hour. Um, if that, I had a lot of stuff to do, like run errands and laundry and normal everyday crap. And uh, <clears throat> there wasn't that many sales posted, so I didn't really get any uh, garage sale footage except you know the little footage before that showed this pickup. Um, so yeah, let's uh, I'll just jump into this. Um, like I said, this was on Facebook. And uh, he wanted, he, I guess he's moving and he wanted to sell all that he had. So I ended up going there and picking it all up for uh, 40 bucks. So pretty, pretty good. There was two systems. We have uh, the PS2 Slim. Um, he said that like a while back he had the laser replaced in this. So I haven't really had a chance to test it out yet, but he said they both work. And then an original Xbox. And then uh, I'll show you the random games. Uh, we had a PS1 game. Um, it's complete, The Fifth Element. He said a buddy of his left it at his house. So he sold it. And then uh, two N64 games. He said his sister took the N64 and the rest of the games, but these were his favorites, so he kept them. Uh, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil, and Goldeneye 007. 007 Goldeneye. So pretty good. Um, next... Uh, some miscellaneous stuff here. We have a uh, Game Shark for the PS2. That's pretty cool. Um, some cheat code books. And then I'll show the disc only games. There's quite a few actually. It's actually a pretty big lot. I mean, there's not really any great PS2 games in here. There's one really good Xbox game. Uh, Sky Odyssey. Let's see. Let me try to do this nice. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now he said that this one, I guess apparently uh, back when this was first released, there was like a scene in this that was really obscene, so they recalled it and then re-released it. He says this is the first print, so if that's true, that's pretty cool. Not that I, I don't know if it makes it worth anymore or whatever. Uh, Halo 2, Halo 2 Limited Collector's Edition. Uh, Spec Ops. For the PS1, ATV uh, 2, Battle for the Pacific. He has a lot of shooter games in here. So, uh, Civil War, Tech and Tag, Mercenaries, uh, MX versus ATV Unleashed, Naval Ops Commander, Splinter Cell Double Agent, and then these last ones are all like PlayStation magazines. We'll accept this one. Uh, oh no, yeah, this, these are all PlayStation Magazine ones. So, you guys get the point. Okay, 
next I'll show the Xbox games. Oh yeah, the systems, they both came with one controller. And then uh, the PS2 came with an eye toy, which was funny when I first came up. He was like, yeah, this this is like really hard to find. You don't see these anymore. It's like, I see them. I just don't buy them. I leave them. <laughs> uh, okay, so the Xbox games. We've got... Uh, and none of these have manuals. He got a lot of these at like game stores and none of them had manuals. So, uh, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, Blazing Angels, uh, Mercenaries Playground of Destruction, Star, Star Wars Republic Commando, Need for Speed Underground 2, Bloodwake, and then last but not least for the Xbox, uh, Conquer Live and Reloaded. Missing the manual, it sucks, but I already have one that's complete, Minty. This is like my fourth copy that I found in this game. I used to never be able to find it. I, you know, when I got my, my copy, um, I got it in a trade at one of the trade events. Um, so the fact that now I'm finding them all the time is crazy. All right, now let's get into this giant stack of PS2. Um, okay, some some of these ones have manuals, but not all of them. Um, we got Rock Band. Most of these are going to go bye-bye. I'm only, only going to keep maybe a few of them. Uh, ATV Off-Road Fury 3. Future Tactics. Gran Turismo 3. Uh, Pro Bass Challenge. Motocross Mania 3. Strike Force Bowling. Uh, Call of Duty World at War Final Fronts, Airborne Troops, Call of Duty Finest Hour, Namco Museum, Ghost Recon, Pinball Hall of Fame, Sly Cooper, Fireblade, Guitar Hero Metallica, there's a lot of stuff in here. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. Ford Racing 3. Uh, motorcycle Harley David or Harley Davidson Motorcycles uh, Race to the Rally. Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. Splinter Cell. Rock Band Track Pack. Freedom Fighters, Series of Unfortunate Events, All right. uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Trigger Man, ATV Off-Road Fury, probably one of the best ones of the PS2, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, which that one was on the Xbox, uh, Ace Combat 5, um, Jam Pack, this is a... Uh, I don't know which jam pack that is. There's a bunch of oh, volume 12. Uh, Zathura. ATV2. Cabela's Alaskan Adventures. Alright, last stack. Right, there we go. There's a memory card. <clears throat> um, the iToy game. Black Hawk Down. Power Drone. Yeah, there is a lot of shooters. Seek and Destroy. Conflict Zone. Uh, Jam Pack Volume 11. Said he really loved the Jam Pack, so that's why there's a lot of them in here. Yeah, they're, they're coming up. ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Uh, here's another Jam Pack Volume 10. Another Jam Pack Volume 11. Uh, Jam Pack Volume 13. Uh, Guitar Hero Van Halen, Stuntman, uh, Jam Packed, vol or which volume is this? I don't know, Winter 2003. Alright, this is the last bit right here. A lot of stuff. Uh, Air Combat 4, Rogue Trooper, King Kong, uh, Operation Spy, Sonic Mega Collection, Lethal Skies 2. This one actually looks really cool. Uh, Steel Lancer Arena International. So that's one of the ones I'm definitely going to keep. Uh, Gun Club. 
and Spy Hunter. So yeah, there's a lot in there. 40 bucks is a really good deal though. So I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so this, right after that, um, I stopped at a pawn shop and he usually has games and I got this for five bucks. Anything PSP or handheld, anything like that is five bucks each, no matter what, even if it's a Mario game. Um, so for the PSP, I got Valkyrie Profile Lenith. Um, I have like the, the Japanese version of this game. I don't know. I found it somewhere in the wild. So pretty cool to have the North American version of that. Um, that was it. Um, you know, kind of a, kind of, you know, an uneventful type of week for garage sales considering I didn't really find anything at garage sales, but, um, I'll probably, I don't know. I'll probably still title this because of garage, because he, I mean, it was tip, kind of a garage sale. He listed it in the garage. That's how I found it. I was browsing the garage sales and I was able to get there before anybody else. So, um, still pretty good though. I'm, I'm happy with the finds. Um, so yeah, it was really good this week for swap meets. Um, really good. I found a lot of stuff for, I went Wednesday, found a lot of stuff. I went thursday and found a few things and then sunday today um i did really well so yeah um definitely watch out for that one and also um <clears throat> the end of the month i believe it's the 28th the last sunday of this month um another uh pixel vault uh games trade event so definitely um come out you know if you guys are in the area or if you want to make the trip you know from wherever you're at it's really fun there's going to be a lot of people there um, he's opening a little later this time around, uh, at two, um, but there's going to be food, um, tons of games, uh, me and, you know, a bunch of other people are going to be there, um, so definitely come out, bring your trades, you know, bring whatever, you know, buy some games, trade some games, sell some games, it's going to be fun, so definitely come out, uh, Pixel Vault Games in Ontario, California, uh, 501 Holt Boulevard. So definitely come check it out. It's going to be fun. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.